get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Welcome back, everybody. I have a delicious recipe. Got the old slow cooker out, and I've been craving barbecue. You know, anything barbecue has been such a long winter, so why not do barbecue pulled pork sandwiches in your slow cooker? Love this recipe. It's quick and easy. You can throw it together in the morning, really uh, just very, very quickly before you head out the door, and then it cooks low and slow all day long, and you come home, and dinner is done. The house smells amazing, and all day long while you're, you know, out running errands, working, doing whatever, you've got this, you know, little smile going on inside your head going, when I get home, dinner is done. I love that. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, start with a homemade barbecue sauce that actually starts with just a bottle of your favorite store-bought barbecue sauce, and we're just going to jazz it up. So whatever your favorite is, and I'm just going to thoroughly put this uh, into a saucepan. And this is something, again, that you can just throw together when you get home after work in like five minutes. So ketchup, barbecue sauce, a little bit of mustard. I like to use a Dijon or a stone ground. And some brown sugar. So super easy. And it's just kind of taking that homemade barbecue sauce and or the store-bought barbecue sauce and making it taste a little more like a sauce from scratch. So I'm just going to simmer that for a couple minutes and I'm going to get to work on the roast. Now this is, again, the sauce is something you can make quick when you come home from work. It just takes a minute or two. But the roast is something that you want to do in the morning because it's going to take all day long to cook. So I love to use these slow cooker liners. You can just find them right at the regular grocery store. I know they carry them at festivals. They're in the aisle with the foil and the plastic wrap and the Ziploc bags. And basically, they make cleanup of your slow cooker a breeze. Okay, so then I've got a nice big, I'm using a pork butt roast. Um, got a lot of flavor. And you can ask the butcher to trim it if there's, because normally it's a little bit of a fatty roast. Um, so you want to get it trimmed just a little bit. So I'm going to get that roast. And I always like to do a big one because I love the leftovers. In my book, the leftovers are a, a good thing. And when you cook things in a slow cooker, um, it, they tend to shrink down, roast do, and, and you want to make sure you've got plenty. So um, I've got one good size, four, about a four pound pork butt roast. So then I'm gonna just gonna add some onion, red or yellow, doesn't matter. Just throw that right in there. Season my roast with some garlic, salt, and pepper. And then here's kind of the real fun ingredient for this one. One can of Dr. Pepper. It's kind of got that sweet, so you've got the salty with the garlic salt and the onion, and then a little bit of the sweet. If you didn't have Dr. Pepper, just a can of Coke would work great too. Lid on it, out you go to do your thing. You come home eight to 10 hours later, and this is what you're gonna find. The house is gonna smell great. And the roast is going to be just tender as all get out. So you want it to just be kind of falling apart on you. So you're going to take the roast. And I like to kind of remove it to a bowl. And just take some of the sauce. Just kind of shred it up a little bit. Take some of your jazzed up barbecue sauce. Oh, it smells amazing. And toss that together with your pork. And then I picked up some buns from the bakery. Made it, the side dish really easy. Just again, some potato salad, some coleslaw, maybe some chips. And you're going to have plenty of pulled pork. So if you've got some leftovers, they freeze really well for up to three months or so so that you can do pulled pork sandwiches another time. And there you go. This is absolutely fantastic. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Sunday on Good Day Wisconsin, I'm doing another really fun, brand new slow cooker recipe I came up with. It's Philly steak sandwiches in the slow cooker with pieces of steak and green pepper and onion. Serve it on rolls with melted cheese. Come on out and see me in Fond du Lac. I'll be at the Ag Showcase. 
on Saturday, um, this coming Saturday, doing two different cooking demos out there, one at 11.30 and one at 1. So come on out and say hi. And for the pulled pork sandwich recipe, you can get it on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. It is delicious. Trust me on this one. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.